Hello everyone, I'm Akli Zhang. Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D web-based application by using Autodesk Forge in 10 minutes. In total, we only need three documents available online, as well as a 3D model created by your own. Now, let's download the first one, the installation file for Postman. Type in the website address. Select the system you want to install on, then download it to your PC. The second online resource is the Postman files, created by an awesome guy called Adam. Thanks for sharing this to all of us. Finally, download the simple HTML codes written by Zhong Wu from Autodesk. Thanks for sharing. Alright, we have collected all the online resources needed. Next, let's move on to the downloads. Extract all the compressed files one by one. Then, let's right click on the Postman setup file and install it to your PC by a simple click at Open. Then, Postman will automatically be installed on your desktop Close the welcome menu. Let's have a look at the interface of it. On the upper right, the environment settings are over there, where you can set your environment variables. Then, on your left side, a document tree is located, where you can create or import a series of Postman files. In the middle, there is a command line where you can send requests to a specific website. To set up our environment variables, we need to create a Forge app first. Come to the official website. You can try Forge for 90 days for free. Firstly, register an Autodesk account, then log in. As I have already had one, so let's sign in. At this page, click on the Create App button to create a new forged app. Make sure you have checked all those four APIs. Give it a name and few lines of descriptions as you would like to do, as we do not need to use a callback link. So we simply give it a valid web address, then click Create. Your client ID as well as client secret will be generated automatically. Let's go back to Postman and pull down the Environment Setting menu. Click on the Manage Environment to open the Environment Setting page. It shows there is no environment has been set. So let's import the simple environmental document, just to download it. Browse to the downloaded folder, open my Postman Collection Master, and select the Postman environment file. Open it. Here it is. Unfortunately, you cannot use the original settings, so input your own environmental variables by simply copy and paste from the app you just created. Then remove all the past dynamic information which will be generated automatically later. Pay attention to the bucket key. It should be unique or all the world. Rename it with your own. Finally, we need to add 3D files we gonna upload to the last two brackets. Have a look at our 3D file and check the properties to see the file name and the format of it. And then put it into the last two brackets. And click updates. One more thing you need to do is to set the environment as the one you just update. Now, we have completed the environment settings. 
Let's import the sample Postman file on the left. Browse to my Postman collection folder and select the two-legged file to open. Here you go. You can see everything is ready to go. Select the authenticate. Click send. You will definitely get a token below. You do not need to input anything as you have already have them in your environment settings. Then select create a bucket. Go. Your bucket is created as each bucket should be unique. When you create it one more time, it will fail to create. Once you update your bucket in your environment settings with another unique bucket name, you will be successful again. Anyway, when you create one, it's over there. Do not need to create again. Just go to the next step. Upload a file. You need to shift to the body menu and select binary input. Browsing your 3D document, then click send. You can also check your file information and document details by sending corresponding requests. After that, you need to transform your 3D file into SVI format. Make sure the compressed URN is true. Then go. You can check the transforming progress by getting manifest. It will need some more time to transform, so sometimes you might see the status not completed but few seconds later, you will get all the structure trees for your 3D SVF file. At this stage, you are 99% done. Go to the sample HTML file, open it with Notepad, or in this lesson, we use CodeWriter to make it better to recognize. Don't scare. In these codes, we only need to change two lines, update your token just gotten, as well as your 3D file URN just obtained. Copy the token from your postman, authenticate, Paste on your sample code, then copy the URN. And paste again. Save and close it. Open it with your Google Chrome. Wait for seconds. Bro.